If I can have your attention here in the media center, we are now joined by John Hunter Nemechek, driver of the number eight Chevrolet Silverado in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. John Hunter already clinched his way into the chase uh, in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series, but let's 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 talk about a little, that a little bit later. 2004, your father comes in here and sweeps the weekend. Uh, what do you remember about that weekend here at Kansas Speedway? Uh, I remembered I went to Victory Lane twice that weekend. Um, both times that he had won the race, I was on the playground playing. Um, I do remember that. So mom came and got me and uh, my sister at the time and um, came out and told us that we had to go to Victory Lane. I remember standing outside the gate waiting for them to spray all the beer and stuff all over dad and then we were able to go in and see him. Good deal. Well, let's open up the floor to questions here. We'll start with Randy and work our way around. Hey, John. Randy Kovitz, Kansas City Star. I'm glad you're old enough now to race <laughs> here, huh? Matt mentioned the chase. What's that mean to already be locked in, and, and, and how does that affect you know, the way you go about the rest of the season? It means a lot to us as a team. It shows what we can do um, as a smaller team with uh, not as much of a budget as some of these other teams have. Um, it just shows that we focus on what's important in our trucks. We build really good trucks every time that we come to the racetrack, and we utilize our resources to the absolute max that we can. I mean, when we come to the track, uh, we know that we can run up front and be prepared to win races. It's just a matter of how many we can win. Um, I'd have to say that there may be a little bit more of a gambling situation come in for us um, from whatever it may be, new setups or um, different things to try, different ways to just try and make our whole organization better. I mean, to lock in the chase, it gives you the ability to try different things and not have to worry about having to win uh, still to lock ourselves in. Go to Kyle next. Kyle Bukrefke, the fourth trend.com. John Hunter, after the win in Atlanta and the runner-up finish at Martinsville, what's the sponsorship picture looking like for your team now? Uh, well, we have Andy's Frozen Custard uh, on board this weekend, so can't thank them enough um, for them coming on board. Um, it's a race deal for here. Um, we're still trying to find uh, more partners for the races coming up. We don't have really anything done as of yet. Um, hopefully we'll have some more news coming out. Um, right now it's just race by race deal. Jerry? Jerry Jordan, Performance Racing Network and Kicking the Tires. I want to elaborate a little bit on that. You're qualified for the chase. And what is it? Why can't there be sponsors? I mean, I would think any sponsor would want to be on a guy who's guaranteed all of that publicity. Is there, is there some disconnect that, that you're noticing or is a, where are you all looking at? It's hard to find sponsors right now. Um, most of the sponsors are either on cup teams or Xfinity teams. I mean, it's hard to sell sponsorship in the truck series right now. Um, if you ask me, it, it's some of the best racing out there. Um, as of right now, very competitive. Everyone runs really close together. Um, it's just trying to get deals done. I mean, you can have all the talk in the world about trying to get something done, but until that deal gets done, you get a handshake and a signature on a piece of paper. Um, it's very hard to get to that point. Mile and a half racetracks. You have good success. Your first win, Chicagoland Speedway, mile and a half. Atlanta Motor Speedway this year, mile and a half. What are you expecting that may be a little bit different about this mile and a half racetrack? Uh, it's going to be the same concept as uh, Chicago and Atlanta. I mean, you're going to run pretty much wide open in the truck here. Um, it's just trying to get your truck set up the best you can to run as wide open as long as you can. And whoever can figure out how to run wide open for a fuel, full fuel run and have their truck to where um, it's fast, they're going to win the race. Todd? Hey, John Hunter, uh, Todd Palmer, Kansas City Star. First of all, I'm sure that your ultimate goal is to one day drive in the truck series, or the, sorry, the cup series, stuff like that. What, you know, the last few years running some in trucks, what lessons have you learned? Maybe what surprised you? And what's the best advice your dad's given you about competing at this level? 
I wouldn't say there's one in particular piece of advice that he's given me that's been um, more outstanding than the other. Um, he's full of knowledge. He's given me a lot of advice on how to act. Um, growing up in the sport, you see all the different perspectives of the sport from uh, dad owning a team, for him driving for someone else, from him being in the shop working on his own stuff. So you learn a bunch of different traits as you grow up um, through the sport. So his advice is just to work hard, never give up and it's always going to play out. Any more questions for John Hunter Nemechek? What have you, what have you learned on the truck series these, these first few um, years? Learning in the truck series, it's been uh, not as steep as a learning curve as I'd say it would have been um, coming from a super late model. I've learned a lot from patience to how to drive these things, from figuring out the setup side of them. Um, I mean, at mile and a half, aerodynamics is everything here. Um, from how to pass people to when you're going to get loose, when you're going to get tight around people, um, how to set them up, adjust from day to night races. Um, there's a lot that you can learn. Go back to Jerry. Follow up, uh, Terry Jordan, Performance Race Network, kicking the tires. Are we in jeopardy? I mean, with and I'll go back to the sponsorship. Are we in jeopardy of seeing a, a Nimco struggling and possibly losing one of the best young drivers out there uh, because of lack of sponsorship? Um. <laughs> Normally we don't think about that, but um, we're, we're doing everything we can to get by right now, um, to come to the racetrack, to be competitive at week in, week out. Um, we're we're going to do everything the right way. Um, I'm sure that you're going to see us at every race this year and try and go for the championship. But as you said, sponsorship is hard to come by right now. But um, we have some great partners that are helping us get through these tough times. So hopefully we can get some more of them in and uh, hopefully have a truck all decaled. Well, John Hunter, good luck this weekend, and uh, maybe we'll see you again in victory lane. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you.